नमस्ते आई एम मिनी एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल फूड अटोमिक टूडे वी आर मेकिंग बारबिक्यू कॉलीफ्लावर विंग्स इन टू डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड दीज आर द इनग्रीडियंट्स वी वुड नीड फॉर मेकिंग बारबिक्यू कॉलीफ्लावर विंग्स आई हैव लिस्टेड दम इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन एज वेल टेक अ कॉलीफ्लावर हेड एंड स्टार्ट कटिंग इट जस्ट लाइक दिस फ्रॉम द बैक आई हैव वॉश द कॉलीफ्लावर थरली बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस प्रोसेस cut around the underside of the head and detach the florets where they join at the center just like this i'm going to separate the florets by cutting through the base to make smaller florets which are easier to eat so this size seems good to me we are done with the cauliflower now let's start with the preparation of the batter to a bowl add 1 full cup of all purpose flour You can also use chickpeas flour if you are going for a gluten free option. Then add 1 tablespoon of salt or salt as per taste, half teaspoon of black pepper, 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. And now I'm going to add some plant based milk. So you can take 1 to 2 bowls of plant based milk as much as needed to whisk everything together into a fine paste. I like to use soy milk for my recipes because of its neutral flavor but you can use any other plant based milk as per your choice. We are looking for a pouring consistency and trying to eliminate all the lumps in the batter. So add milk a little bit more. So do not add the milk all together. Try to do it in this method by adding small amount of milk and keep mixing the batter and you will reach the perfect consistency needed. So let's start with the first method of preparing barbecue cauliflower wings. Add the floret to the batter, remove the excess amount of batter from the floret and add it to the tray. I've added a parchment paper to the tray, but if you do not have a parchment paper, you can oil it well. It will help later with the cleaning process. Also make sure you are getting out the excess batter, otherwise it will just drip down to the bottom of the tray while cooking and it will get stuck there. Now keep it in the oven for 25 minutes at 300 degrees Celsius. After 25 minutes, take out the tray and let the cauliflower cool down before removing them from the parchment paper. Now let's prepare the barbecue sauce mix. I have taken 3 to 4 tablespoon of barbecue sauce. I'm adding 1 tablespoon of spicy sauce to it and then adding 1 teaspoon of oil and then mix everything together. You can ignore this step and just take barbecue sauce and coat the cauliflower and that should be good as well. Now brush the cauliflower with the sauce mix. So this particular recipe is one of my friends favorite and they do not like to empower the cauliflowers with more barbecue sauce so that's why I'm just brushing them. You can choose to dip them completely in the barbecue sauce and then add it to the tray again. Now sprinkle some sesame seeds on top of them. The sesame seeds will add a nice crunch to the barbecue cauliflower wings. Once done, put the tray back in the oven and bake for another 15 to 20 minutes over 250 degrees Celsius. Then take out the tray after 20 minutes and the crunchy barbecue cauliflower wings are ready. They are crunchier on the outside and so soft from the inside. You can pair them up with some vegan ranch and they are so delicious. Now let's see the second method of preparing the barbecue cauliflower wings. So dip the cauliflower florets into the batter. We are using the same exact batter we prepared for the first method. Now we are going to roll them with some bread crumbs. Once they are completely coated with the bread crumbs, add them to the baking tray and repeat the process with the rest of the florets. This method to be honest is my favorite one because it produces a more spicier and crunchier version of barbecue cauliflower wings. Once all of them are coated, bake them for 300 degrees centigrade for about 25 minutes. Meanwhile, let's prepare the sauce. I am taking 6 to 7 tablespoons of barbecue sauce, adding 1 tablespoon of the chili sauce. and then add 1 tablespoon of oil you'll see the quantity of sauce and the ingredients here have increased because we are going to coat the barbecue wings completely in this sauce we have mixed all the ingredients nicely after 25 minutes take up the tray 
and let the barbecue wings cool down completely. Do not add the hot barbecue wings to the sauce because then they will turn soggy. So wait for them to cool off and then go ahead and dip the floret in the barbecue sauce completely and then add it to the tray. As you can see the difference between brushing them with the sauce and dipping them completely. You can also take the sauce in a bigger bowl and dip the cauliflowers in it. I prefer this way because the floret still get completely coated with the barbecue sauce. Once done, bake them for 15 minutes over 250 degrees celsius and see how amazing it looks. These are crunchier from the outside and so soft from the inside. They don't need much preparation and can be done so easily. These barbecue cauliflower wings are perfect crowd pleaser and naturally vegan and full of flavors. Make sure to check out some of the benefits of eating cauliflower. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Food Atomic. If you are still looking for more vegan videos, click right here. I'll see you next time with another interesting vegan recipe. Until then. Bye!